holder of the protectorate. You never know what's going to happen in the supernatural world. I mean, all those other holders and seekers go into great lengths to protect and obtain, respectively, the objects. It gets pretty freaky. I guess that's why this holder decided to change the tides a bit, for whatever reason. See, all them holders are supposed to be, um, neutral, or some sort, right? At least, that's what I had heard. Anyway, I was walking along one day. I can't seem to remember the place. It was nowhere in particular. But on a park bench was a sundered piece of paper. I found the second half nearby in a bush, pressed them together, and started reading. It was obliterated after I did what it said, but I can remember just about all of it. It went something like this. The Holder of the Protectorate Dear Seeker, congratulations on finding the last testament of my existence. If you are reading this, you are about to discover the method by which I obtained my 2,000 objects with such ease. Be wary, however, it will come at a costly price. Firstly, find the closest statue. It must be a depiction of either a knight, an angel, or some other figure who has done a form of good deed to guard another. Kneel in front of it, and summon from within yourself the most pure thought you contain, whether it be pure good or pure evil. I do not know which works better, for this task can be performed once, and only once. It would be considered a good thing if the statue did not come to life and immediately remove your skull and spinal cord from off your shoulders, like the seekers who I goaded before me. If instead there is no reaction, Flee the city and never return. To come across another statue in that city's vicinity will not be so merciful as to let you escape. If, however, you experience a bright flash of light and recover your sight inside of a dark temple, you have passed the first trial. The temple will have large pillars in a circle holding up the weight of the stones the temple was built from. Between the pillars will be small altars with artifacts on display, plaques to name and commemorate them properly. Within the temple you may look at, but not touch any artifact on display. Some are replicas of objects. Some are creations of seekers gone mad, or depictions of seekers doing great deeds, soulless or otherwise. Peruse the artifacts until you see a small disc, like a bracelet, flat on the sides and round with a large hole in the center. This is the item you are seeking. If you are not here to obtain this holder's object, the bracelet is the only thing which can be taken from the temple without negative repercussion. However, upon touching it, you will awake in wherever you call home with the bracelet attached to your wrist. This bracelet will guard you from any aberration presented in any holder trial, and if wielded towards any demon, beast, 
creature or otherwise, it will repel the creature, and you may continue the trial as if you were accepted without question. I cannot assure you this will gain you an object from said trials. As the bracelet works only on creatures who are sent to be your assassin, as punishment for an error within the confines of a holder's trial. It protects naught of contraptions, tests, questions, puzzles, or the like. Do not let the strength of this item cloud your mind with arrogance. As for the object, I have no idea. No other seeker I sent after me had kept their head on straight. Quite literally, I suggest finding some patsies to ebb at obtaining the object. That is, if you do not take the bracelet, or else you're on your own. And one last note about that bracelet. I would be careful being anywhere near mirrors for the rest of your life. The ring protects against the ethereal. But the other world will now know who you are outside of those enclosed environments that the holders create. There were yet creatures that frightened someone like me. Needless to say, I went out and tried those damn directions. Now I've got this piece of enchanted silver on my wrist, and so can you, if you want it. I went over and grabbed it, marveled at its simple beauty. I woke up in my bed at home, just like he wrote. Boy, was I scared shitless when I went up kneeling to that angel, though. It didn't work the first time, and I had to drive some eighty-odd miles away to try again. But now that I have it, I feel like I need more. A while afterwards... I recited the instructions to a seeker friend of mine, told him to go for the object instead. I told him, out of the corner of my eye, I saw these two red eyes staring at me from a distance in the temple's darkness. I told him, Instead, ask it something. It's the protectorate. Maybe say... What secrets are they trying to protect? Turns out it worked. His lucky day. He came back from nowhere, out behind the statue, like he just teleported, right? He showed me the thing he acquired, but he looked afraid of it. I had to go through some nasty shit for this, man. You better thank me, he said, and I did. I read him of the horrific memories he might have seen. He wouldn't tell me, no matter how I asked. It was a fairly useless thing, other than what it represented. Anyway, I would know. I killed him and took it. My very first object. The contact lens case was object number of 2538. May one day the sights you see from taking either item be cleansed from your mind.